solution for this example. First thing we need to do is get this into a table format. Now you'll see here this monthly actually split over two numbers, two cells, so we might just want to change that heading, but for now I'm just going to highlight the entire area and put it into table format by pushing Ctrl T. We're now going to get it into Power Query. Once it's in here, you've got a choice. There's a couple of ways you can actually split it. So it looks like there's a fixed width here. It also looks like uh, there's a dash here that we can use. But just be careful. If we use the dash, that's fine. But notice that there are other dashes. So you'll just have to think how to do it. So just a couple of ways we could do it. So I'm going to click on that column. Go to split column. And if we split by number of characters, for example, we then need to specify how many characters, so it looks like it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to say split by 8 characters. I don't need it to repeat it, just once as far left as possible. When I say OK, it achieves it. Just keep in mind that doing it this way then will leave that dash over there. So that's the one way of doing it. I'm just going to undo it. Second way, we can split by column. Now I'm going to use a delimiter. And it looks like we're going to use a dash. So I'm going to actually overwrite that and say no, it's actually a dash. But if I do this, I've got to be careful because then it will put that one in its own column and that one. So now it's at the leftmost delimiter. It looks about right. When I say OK, you'll see it does the same thing. But now the dash is removed completely. There are some spaces here by the looks of things which you might be careful of. But so there's a couple of ways you can achieve this.